Hi, welcome to this ESL's channel. Today I'm going to talk about present perfect continuous. So stay with me. Okay, at first let's talk about the structure. So the structure is like this subject plus have or has plus been plus verb in ing form. So consider that the verb should be following with an ing. Okay, I prepared this chart for you to understand better. In the positive form, I, you, we, they have been working. He, she, it has been working because they are third person. In the negative form, I, you, we, they haven't been working. He, she, it hasn't been working. Have or has plus been plus verb with ing. Work with ing. In question four, have I, you, we, they been working? Usually, how long comes at the beginning of these questions. How long have you, I, we, they been working? How long has he, she, it been working? Okay? Easy. So before I talk about when to use present perfect continuous, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the like button if you find value in this video. Also, there are other videos about present perfect and present continuous. Make sure to watch them before this in order to understand this better. Thanks. So, we use the present perfect continuous to talk about actions that started in the past and continue to the present. Easy. Example. She has been working as a doctor for 40 years. It means that from 40 years ago until now, she has been working as a doctor. She has been a doctor. Okay? So, I decided to mention for and since in this grammar lesson because they are related to present perfect continuous. You can use them when you are using present perfect continuous. We use for and since to talk about periods of time from the past to the present. We use for to talk about periods of time. It answers questions with how long. Examples for 40 years, for 5 hours, for 6 months, for a minute. And he has been teaching for 10 years. So the question should be like this. How long has he been working? Okay? When you are using this, you are speaking about periods. We are, start, we are staying in the now part, in the timeline. And we are talking about 10 years, a period of 10 years, from 10 years ago until now. When you are saying something about it, you use for. He has been teaching for 10 years, it means from 10 years ago until now, he has been a teacher. We use since. To talk about points of time. For was about periods of time, since is about points of time. It answers questions with when. Example, since 1965, since last year, since 2004, since Tuesday, since 6 o'clock, since October. He has been teaching since 1996. It means from the point of 1996, he has been teaching. From that point, 
Until now, he has been teaching. Remember, very important note here. We do not use a present tense to talk about actions that started in the past and continue into the present. Example, I am learning English since last year is wrong. Okay? A present tense to talk about action started in the past. This action started since last year. So, this we cannot use present tense here. And it is continued to the present. Okay? I am learning English since last year is wrong. Okay? I've been learning English since last year. The following phrases often occur with the present perfect continuous but do not need for and since. So for these we do not use for and since. All day, all my life. I've been doing this all my life. So there is no need to say I've been doing this for all my life. All my life is enough. All day, all my life, all morning, all months, all week, all year. So very important question here. You have to choose between present perfect simple and present perfect continuous when you want to use them. In many cases, we can use the present perfect simple and the present perfect continuous with for and since with no real difference in meaning. In many cases, they are the same. Examples, I have been living in this house for over a year. And I have lived in this house for over a year. Both of them are the same and have one meaning. What a verb, but if a verb describes a state, for example, like, love, be, have, see, know, we cannot use the continuous form. These are state verbs. In order to learn about it, in order to find about these verbs, watch the video about present continuous and present simple, also present perfect. Example, they have been knowing each other for more than 50 years. Have been knowing is wrong. Okay, because know is a state verb, whether you know someone or not. So it is wrong. You cannot use a continuous form it doesn't matter present continuous or past continuous or present perfect continuous you cannot any continuous form for a state verb loving is wrong whether you love something or you don't love easy okay thank you for watching the video i hope it helps you in your lessons and exams Feel free to ask any question in the comments and don't forget to watch the other videos about present perfect, present simple, present continuous. There are idioms in the page that you can visit, that you can watch to learn about American slangs and idioms. Thanks.